Hi everybody, welcome back to another beginner's guide to Daisy modding uh, on console, so for PlayStation Xbox. But however, the things I am talking about here, they apply just as much to PC as well. So you, you may well or may well not know that Daisy on console at the moment, as of the end of January 2022, we have access to two maps. There's Chernerus, which you can see here, and then there's also Livonia, which is the DLC that you have to buy, that is well worth buying because it is a um, it's a it's an interesting change to Chernerus. On Chernerus, you have all of the stuff kind of around lots of buildings kind of around the coast, and then as you move inland, there's some big cities and bases. But with Livonia, kind of you start up on the north up here, then as you move south, it gets more and more wild with just ruins and forests and stuff. So it's a different type of challenge. However, we can have both maps on our servers uh, on Nitrado. We can only have one at a time. And obviously when people come onto these servers, they must have purchased the DLC on their respective platform in order to have access to it. So they'll have had to go into the PlayStation Store or the Xbox Store and bought the Livonia DLC. Um, but to actually change the map is incredibly easy. All you need to do is go into the web interface for your server, go into the general settings, and at the top where it says mission, you click on that and you would click on Livonia, um, which is the Enoch mission. So when they talk about missions, it gets a bit confusing, doesn't it? But missions is basically the map that you're running. So you're either running Chernerus or Livonia. So And the mission name for Chernerus is Chernerus Plus, and the mission name for Livonia is Enoch. So you would just click on that. I'm not going to do it, so I don't want to change this one. You would save changes, and you would restart the servers. However, there's some, there's some things you have to kind of bear in mind. So let's go over to my Livonia server over here. So this is my Livonia server. So if we go into the file browser for my Livonia server, you'll see we have the two missions because when it restarts it adds the other mission so we've got daisyoffline.chernerus plus and daisyoffline.enoch so for each server there are separate xml and json files that drive the central economy of the server so what i mean is that all the guns all the food all the zombies all the bases that people have built they're, they're for a particular map on your server. They're either um, Chernerus or Livonia. And when you swap to the other uh, map, your players will be starting again. And any edits you will be doing, you'll have to do on the different XML and JSON files for that particular server. Now, don't worry. Those edits and those players on the other map, they're not gone. They're just in limbo. They're just saved. Unfortunately, player progress, so in other words, you know, the stuff p people are carrying and, 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 you know, the clothes and the weapons they've got, they don't come over to the other map. They stay on the other map, kind of in limbo, um, and they have to start again. Now, if you switch the setting back to the other map, then when players log in again, they'll have their stuff again. Now, what this means as well is that in your settings down here, um, if you have ch uh, enabled... Um, gameplay.json cfg gameplay cfg gameplay.json to uh, enable things like um, build anywhere you must remember then to go to the file browser go into the um, enoch file so daisyoffline.enoch which is livonia and then go into the cfg gameplay.json and make sure you've turned on all of the, uh, or turned off all of the collision detection so that people can build anywhere. So just bear that in mind. So kind of the, the core principle of this is it's very easy to change maps from Chernerus to Livonia, but player progress doesn't cross over, people start again. And then the XML edits you do differently on the different XMLs for that particular map. So if we take, for example, like uh, the types.xml, you may have heard of the types.xml. That's the one that has, you know, 15 compasses spawn and 25 M16s, all that sort of stuff. There's a different one for Livonia and there's a different one for Chernus. And they're in different folders. They're in different mission files. Right, there we go. Hopefully that's useful. If it has been, hit like, subscribe if you want to see more of the same. And remember, there are no silly questions. So if you've got any queries at all about modding for Daisy, whether that be PlayStation, Xbox or PC, please put them in the comment section down below because I use those questions to drive um, content for this channel. Because, you know, if I know the answer, I'll make a video about it. 
Um, and if I don't know the answer, I'll find out about it and make a video about it. Because trust me, if you're thinking of it, there's hundreds, if not thousands of people thinking about it as well. There we go. That's enough for me. And I'll see you again soon.